My name is Eric Gant. I own the Gartley Point Hatchery here in Royston. And I've been devoted for the last 25 years to trying to develop the gooey duck and sea cucumber aquacultural industry here in Bain Sound. Recently, a couple of companies that uh, I'm involved in have applied for two uh, tenures along the shoreline in Bain Sound that are about 10 kilometers in length. The intention is to raise uh, sea cucumbers and start rebuilding the what was once a good concentration of natural stocks along the shoreline. I decided that aquaculture was the way to go, so we developed a system uh, for gooey duck aquaculture, which was to reseed the natural beds that had been mined down or mined out by uh, wild fisheries back up to their natural densities. In sea cucumber, what we want to do is to free range them so that they will naturally spread themselves out to a density that they know to be naturally healthy. So we don't have to know what's the healthiest density. Uh, we just let Mother Nature do the job for us. Our job is just to be as supportive as we can of a complex matrix that no human being truly understands. The beauty of sea cucumber and gooey duck is that they are both beneficial to the ocean. Both, each in their own way, offset, for example, the detrimental impact that human population along our shorelines has. Uh, there is an excessive nutrient runoff from human population from a multitude of different sources. And this causes a surplus growth of algae in the water, a surplus concentration. Sea cucumber are able to free range, and they basically are the earthworms of the sea. They feed on the rotting uh, plant matter that's happening uh, within Bain Sound right now, uh, probably in the thousands if not millions of metric tons a year. And we know from our recent surveys that the sea cucumber population has only a fraction of what it once was when I originally started diving in this area 30 years ago. 